Hey everyone, welcome to Fit Tip Tuesday. I want to give you an update on the DIY sports bra project. Unfortunately, the bra making supplies that I ordered have not arrived yet, so I have to push part two where I show how to sew together the pieces back a few weeks. If you watched last week's episode and you're excited about this, don't worry. I will do part two as soon as I get all the stuff I need to um, construct the bra, so stay tuned for that. I apologize that um, I couldn't get right on that this week. I was super excited about it. I probably should have waited until I had everything ready to go supplies-wise before I posted a video, but I promise you there will be a part two coming very soon. So today what I want to do is show you how to draft a cowl neckline. I'm going to be working with the Abbey Dress pattern. That's a free PDF downloadable pattern that you can get um, the coupon code for in my J Stern Designs Fitting and Pattern Perfection Facebook group. There's a link below um, to the group. So if you're interested in you know, working with the Abbey Dress Pattern or joining me in my Facebook group, you can click the link to join there. Um, if you don't do Facebook, you can use this method of drafting a cowl on um, a fitted knit top. All right, so you can see here the um, pattern pieces for the Abbey Dress are relatively small and easy to work with because it's an Empire waist dress. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is trace a copy of the pattern that you're going to be working with. And you want to just trace half of it. So if it's a full front um, pattern piece, just trace from the center front to the side. So that's what I've got here. Um, something really helpful to work with this technique is an L-shaped ruler because what we're going to do is we're going to square off the top of this to create the straight top edge of the cowl. The first thing I want to talk about is determining how much we're going to be spreading the pattern to create the cowl. And the easy way to do that is put a tape measure around your neck and create a circle with the tape measure um, to sort of give you a guide for how far the cowl will drop. So I want to do a relatively high one. I don't want to do like a super low. So I'm going to go with this much as an example. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look and see how much this measures and it's 25 inches. The next step is we're going to take off from that 25 inches 7 inches because the back of your neck measures approximately between 5 and six inches and then it comes around to the front where your shoulder seam is so just as a guide let's take off seven inches from 25 the total measurement we end up with 18 as a total now we're only making half the pattern here so we're going to record nine inches which is half of 18 as the amount we're going to spread our pattern to get the cowl to drop a similar amount to what we did with the tape measure so the next step after we know what our spread is going to be is to square up the center front of your bodice. Now, from the inside tip of the shoulder seam, that's where the cowl is going to start. So on the Abbey dress, it's a pretty open neckline. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually bring my shoulder in. Um... I think I'm going to bring my shoulder in an inch. Okay, so this is going to be where my shoulder seam um, stops. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my L square ruler and I'm going to square off the front of this. So basically what I want to do is I want to run once the vertical side of the L ruler with my center front, and then I'm gonna lower it until it hits the tip of my shoulder here. So then I'm just gonna create an L like this. All right, so that's the first step. 
The next step is we're going to make a guideline, um, a vertical guideline, and I'm going to make this vertical guideline from the tip of my shoulder down. Um, I'm going to make it down to my approximate um, apex. So for me, I know from my shoulder to my apex is 12 inches. So I'm going to make it 11, actually. So almost to the apex. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a um, diagonal line from the corner edge of my um, pattern piece to the bottom of my vertical line. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slash through the top edge and diagonally to, but not through my side seam at the corner here. Okay. All right, I put pattern paper underneath my slashed bodice just to make it easy to work with. Okay, so I'm just going to tape my center front side of the pattern to this paper just to make it easy to, to deal with. And I'm also going to tape down this lower portion of this diagonal guideline. The next step is to spread the pattern until you've spread it nine inches or, you know, or the amount that you measured around your neck. So I'm just going to start spreading this here. And we want to spread it nine inches, so I'm going to just keep my ruler there and spread it till the tip of my shoulder and where I cut over here measures nine inches. All right, so now I'm going to tape that down. Now you can see, in addition to spreading the neckline, I've also added some fabric in here. And what that's going to do is it's going to make a nice graceful shape to the bottom edge of this pattern piece. All right, so now that this is taped down, the next step is I'm going to use my L ruler again. Let me just tape this top edge down. Let me tape this. I'm going to use my L ruler and I'm going to put the vertical along my center front like this until the horizontal, the horizontal is going to hit the level of the edge of my um, shoulder there and the vertical is running along my center front. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just connect that. Oops. And that's gonna be the, that is gonna be the top edge of my, um, of the cowl. Now the next step is to make the facing for the edge of the cowl and Sadly, I did not leave enough paper at the top, so I'm just going to cut off this paper down here. And I'm going to tape it over here. Okay. So at the center front edge, what we're going to want to do is extend that four inches. would put me here. Okay, and then that's the depth of the facing at the center front. To get the side, what we're going to do is I'm going to fold this on my line.
like this. And I am going to cut on my shoulder seam like this. And what that's going to do is it's going to give me, it's going to give the edge of my facing the right shape so when I fold it down, it will line up with my shoulder seam. And actually, just so I can make sure it's the actual length, I'm actually going to cut the, cut this out too. All right, so see, that's all right. So, see, this now becomes um, the facing that will get caught in the shoulder seam. So, when it's folded down, okay, see what you have. So, to get the remainder of this from this out edge, I'm just going to draw a gentle curving line to my straight line. Something like that. All right, and then that's going to complete the shape of this pattern. So I'll just cut that out. All right, and you can see. Um, let me just cut the whole thing out here so you can see. The one thing I want to say is it's really important to make sure that your bodice fits through the bust before you add or change your original neckline. Because if this doesn't fit and you make this cowl, you're just going to have a fitting problem with a cowl. So make sure your your bodice fits before you, you know, make a copy and create a cowl. I'm going to leave that there. All right, so this would be my front now with my cowl, half of it. When you're working with knit, you do not have to put this on the bias grain line. You can put this straight across with the stretch going in this direction. If you were working with a woven fabric and you're making a cowl, the cowl would be put on the bias grain line. That's really important because that's what would give it its soft drape. But again, because we're working with a knit, you can position it on the fabric so that it's going in the direction, the width-wise part of the pattern is going with the stretch in the fabric. So um, my, my grain line for this would be this center front line. I don't recommend folding the fabric in half. I recommend making a full front. And the way you would do that is you would trace a copy and then um, tape it together. So like I can put this on here, you know, and I'm just going to line it up with um, the grid like this. And then just quickly just use my ruler to draw my center front okay and then here's the bottom Oops. side armhole And then facing okay. All right, and then after I trace a copy, what I'm going to do is just quickly cut it out.
All right, and then I'm just going to tape it to the center front of this other side here, and then you can see this would be your completed pattern. Another option, if you don't want to tape it together, you can tr you can cut out the um, you can cut out your your bodice, put the center front on a folded piece of paper, and cut it out, and then that way you'd have a full um, front without having to tape it back together. You can do that as well. All right, so that's the completed pattern. If you have any questions about how to draft this cowl, please post them below and I will help you. Um, I hope you consider joining us in Jay Stern Designs Fitting and Pattern Perfection Facebook group because on Friday I'm going to show the members how to sew together the cowl for the Abbey dress. Um, so if you're interested in that, join me there. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you again next week.